The T on the hill stands for Tesoro. It also stands for Titans, and it could just as well stand for Triumphant. A couple names that have uh, contributed greatly to that to the good history here at Tesoro High School. Down there on the field, they're getting ready for a big game this week. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com for our Gridiron Show on Orange County football here in week one. We're here at Tesoro High School. Behind us, Tesoro High School is getting ready for a big game, the Rumble at the Ranch, guys, against Santa Margarita at Saddleback College on Friday. A uh, quick look at uh, that game, guys. Uh, you know, both teams came out of the shoot pretty good. You know, Carlos, I know you were at the uh, – to soar a victory over Hart, and then, you know, Santa Maria just rolled over Long Beach Jordan. Who do you like in this game? Like, who's going to win it? Myself, I'll just come straight out and say, I think Santa Maria looks awful good, you know, even though they're pretty young, but uh, I was totally impressed by what they did last week. Um, I'm going to have to go with Tesoro in the Rumble at the Ranch. All right. uh, I saw them last week. Uh, they still had some kinks to work out, but they still look fantastic, man. Their defense is bad. Okay. They got Chaz Roberts, who is one of the best defensive ends in the county. Uh, Blake Ryder's a fantastic Ryder. linebacker. On Ryder. offense, you got Matt Adam, you got Kyle Wolbrick catching his passes, and you got Nate Toggle, a stud. So I'm going to say bring on the Rumble. Let's go. Rumble, young man. Uh, Danny, who do you like in this game? I like Santa Margarita. I think it's a revenge factor for them big time, which is always a big uh, – Motiva motivating factor in high school football. The things that uh, the thing that hurt Santa Margarita last year was turnovers. Um, they had uh, they were up in the second half in the, against Tesoro, but the turnovers, uh, which turned out to be kind of uncharacteristic for uh, Santa Margarita last year, um, really hurt them. And uh, they take better care of the ball this year. I think uh, Santa Margarita get the, the victory. Uh, though I I, I I I don't think we should look too much into that Long Beach Jordan score because I don't think Long Beach Jordan was very good. And for more on Tesoro football, we caught up with a couple of those Titans earlier today. We're excited. This is a game we look for. You know, we definitely circle it, uh, circle it on the calendar. I know last year, first time uh, was first time it was played, and some of these kids have been waiting their whole lives to to play this game. And 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 even now, a lot of these kids are waiting to play this game. So it's going to be a fun night, Friday night. It's about uh, bragging rights, saying that you're the baddest team in town, and sending a message. Growing up with them, you always just wanted to play each other, but now we finally get to do it in high school. So it's just got to win. A couple other big games on the football schedule involving Orange County teams uh, take part in some places not here in Orange County, specifically Mission Viejo at Don Bosco Prep. Mission Viejo is playing the number one ranked team in the nation, Don Bosco Prep of Rams, New Jersey. Mission Viejo taking the long trek across country to play the number one team in the USA. Carlos, you got a couple thoughts on this one? This is like one of those great East Coast versus West Coast battles, Biggie Small, Tupac. Now we're getting into high school football, man. I'm, I'm psyched. Mission Viejo is going to represent the West Coast. They got a high-powered offense. They got some great defenders. Don Bosco Prep, from what I hear about them, they're loaded on defense. And uh, that'll be a big test against Mission's offense. So, you know, it looks really exciting. I'm picking Mission Viejo for the upset. And that's it, man. Cali time. Hey, Dan, a pretty good game involving uh... – a uh, couple old-time uh, league rivals. We got Servite playing Bishop Amat uh, on Friday over at Cerritos College. Servite, uh, you saw them against Oceanside last week. That Servite defense looked pretty good. Yeah, Servite defense did look very good. You know, that was uh, you know coming into the season that was going to be that was the question mark really for for Servite was going to be how good they were going to be on defense because they lost so much. They're playing a lot of two-way guys. A lot of their linemen are going two ways. But I really like what I saw. They looked fast, physical. They were they were really. Uh, where they needed to be and make plays. Well, that's a look at the numbers one and two teams in Orange County, Servite and Mission Viejo playing some out-of-county teams. One team, Mission Viejo, going a long ways away to play it. And, and uh, before I forget, fellas, have we got it right? Servite one, Mission two, what do you think? I'm, you know what, I love, I love Servite, but I think Mission deserves to be number one. I think they're going to prove it with a win over the Jersey Shore. That's all right, all right. Well, that, that would be impressive. Dan, we got it right? No, so a Mission does definitely does not deserve to be number one in Orange County when they haven't beat... Uh, the number one team Servite the last two years, rumble, so <laughs> we're at the ranch. Um, but no, uh, you know, right now, you know, it's it's Servite country here in Orange County until they get beaten by somebody in Orange County. All right. Well, on behalf of uh, Carlos Arias and Dan Albano, Steve Fryer, glad to be standing between them here at OCVarsity.com. We've got you covered.